2% mixing ratio. I make 144 grams L2O and mix that with 156 grams of powder. Scale, we're using grams for our measurement. Zero it out, put our can on. We're going to zero out the can. And basically we're going to mix the L2O in. 144 grams. get really close 144 grams then we're going to start to mix in our powder first to zero the can out again 156 grams Go ahead and stop. All right, so we're finishing up almost 156 grams, 55. Once again, this is by weight, not by volume. And different powders will take different amounts as far as volumes because of what they're made of. Being that this one has some metallic in it, 156. So we are there, and next we'll mix for the high dispersion blades. Very simple, there's your blade. Start out slowly and then we'll finish off at a high speed. mix is finished and just to show you the consistency of the liquid very thick but the blade has mixed it in very well and we'll go from there now we're ready to put the paint in with this little spoon I like to keep it agitated and we're not going to use very much so I'm only going to put about four spoons, spoonfuls in. We're spraying a three by five piece of metal, three inch by five inch. And I will go just a hair more. And that's all it takes. Just keeping the paint agitated. And there's how little is in there. We won't even use all of that. So now we're ready to spray. And I'm going to take this piece out of the toaster oven, which is already warmed up just a little bit, just to about 100 degrees. You don't want it too hot. We're spraying at 60 PSI. I have a little bit set here and ready to go. I just run a little test right here. Good pattern. So we're ready to spray. And I'm going to slow about 6 to 8 inches away. Good. I just want to show you how much is left over that we didn't use. We didn't use very much. There's what's left over. I'll be pouring that back into the can. We've allowed time for this to dry. You can tell by all the flakes around it that the powder coating is completely dried out. There's even a few flakes on top which can actually blow away the loose flakes which you can't normally do with regular powder coating, but this will stay on because of the L2O. We're going to stick it into our simple toaster oven. 350 degrees for 15 minutes is what the recommended cook time is. And that's it. Next up, our baking. It's cured out 350 for 15 minutes. We've let the oven cool off now. And I'm going to pull it out. Still just a little bit warm. 
But uh, here's the finished product. Really nice shine and finish to it. Really shiny. I'll try and just move it a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Maybe a dust particle here and there because we don't have perfect conditions. But otherwise, the shine is very good.